Caught in the act, it was stiflingly hot in the crowded, narrow, cobbled street. The ramshackle houses either side seemed to press in on Sarah as she followed close behind Jamie, afraid of losing contact with him in the throng of people. At last, the street led into a small square filled with stalls selling exotic jewellery, carpets and sweetmeats. Everywhere, people were fingering the goods on display, haggling over the price or shouting a greeting to a friend. Everything smells so exotic. It's a bazaar. It doesn't look that strange to me. You know perfectly well what a bazaar is. OK, sorry. How about getting something to eat? Wait a minute. What's all that about? Come to Mighty Muhammad's amazing circus. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Don't miss your last chance of seeing Hakim's incredible acrobats. Oh. Omar's death-defying sword-swallowing act. Yeah. Uh, and Jamal, the fantastic illusionist. <laughs> Plus, Mighty Muhammad's troop of beautiful girls on horseback. Yeah. <laughs> and all the thrills and spills of the circus ring. Don't delay. Come. This way! Come on, Jamie, let's give it a go. It's ages since we've been to a circus. That's true, but it doesn't seem very popular. Only a few people are following him. Well, we can give it a try anyway. OK. You were right. It's not so popular. In fact, it's more than half empty. Didn't think much of Mighty Muhammad just now, did you? Well, he didn't do much himself, but the horses were great. And I don't know how those girls do their balancing act on horseback. It's pretty clever. Hakim's incredible acrobats weren't bad, I suppose. Shh. There's another act coming on. Jamal, the fantastic illusionist! I need a volunteer. Somebody to help me. Not exactly sport for choice, is he? No, look, there's someone. I'll do it! Wonderful! Thank you. Please, come down here into the ring. What's he going to do to him? Put him in a cabinet. I've seen this trick before. Are you quite comfortable in there? Yes, go, go. Now, watch. I spin the cabinet around, like so. I open the door. But where is our friend? He's disappeared! The cabinet is empty. Now, you have to admit, that's clever. It's the oldest trick in the book. It's all done with mirrors. Oh, really? That cabinet looks pretty empty to me. Don't you believe it? The man's still there. It's an optical illusion. Now, can I have two more volunteers? <laughs> Thank you. When I snap my fingers and say the name of an animal, you will immediately behave like that animal. And every time I snap my fingers, you will become another animal. Snake! <gasps> Dog! Ow, ow, ow! Now admit it, Jamie, that's pretty amazing. I wonder how he got them to do that. Oh, thank you, thank you. And now! The act you've all been waiting for! Omar the Sword Swallower! Thank you! Let me introduce you to my beautiful daughter, Shalima! Shalima will stand against this wooden board while I throw knives around her! Ready, Shalima? Yes, Father! Oh, I hate this kind of thing. What if he misses? He won't. He's probably been doing it all his life. <gasps> wow! I'm glad they didn't ask the volunteers for that one. Oh, no! There will be a short interval. Thank you very much. Oh. Let's go outside and get some fresh air. We can have a look around this place as well. Good idea. We can. It's a good show. It's not bad. I wonder why more people from the town didn't come. Look, isn't that Shalima over there? The sword swallower's daughter. You're right. 
She doesn't look too happy. She looks really miserable. Why don't we go and ask her what's wrong? OK. Hi there. Oh, hello. We really enjoyed your father's act. Isn't it scary having all those knives thrown at you? Not really. My father has never been known to miss. It's a shame there weren't more people in the audience. Yes, some of the acts are so good. You want to know why nobody comes to see us? It's because the townspeople think we're criminals. Surely not. Why would they think that? We arrived here seven days ago, and since then there have been four robberies, all from the largest houses in the town. They all happen at night, and the thief always manages to enter through a very high window. That's odd. You think they want to get in the easy way, through a window on the ground floor? Yes. Well, since the circus is full of acrobats, magicians and illusionists, everyone in the circus is under suspicion. We've been ordered to pack up and move on somewhere else tomorrow. That might not be such a bad idea. If you go somewhere new, you should get good audiences, and they won't be accusing you of doing something you didn't do. But I'm not so sure we are innocent. I believe my father could be the thief. No. What makes you think that? There was a break-in last night. And one the night before. And each time I woke up to find my father was missing from his bed. He could have been anywhere. It doesn't mean he's guilty. It's just that in the morning I asked him where he'd been. And he denied going anywhere. He said I must have been dreaming. I wasn't. It sounds like another job for the famous pair of detectives, Sarah and Jamie. Why don't we camp outside the circus tonight? If Omar or anyone else goes into town, we can follow them and find out what they're doing. Oh, would you? I just can't believe it of Father. He's such a kind and generous man. If you could show me I'm wrong, I'd be so grateful to you. Looks like it's time for the second half. You'd better go back to your seats. OK, see you later. Bye for now. What a beautiful night. Too nice for doing detective work. But we have to try and help Shalima. I guess so. I didn't like to say at the time, but it does sound as if Omar might be the thief. There's too much evidence. Oh, I don't know. It might be Hakim and his acrobats. You saw how they can make a human pyramid. Pretty good, weren't they? Yes. They could make one of those, and the person on the top could break in through the window. I don't know. It sounds a bit far-fetched. How about Jamar? He could use his magic cabinet to make all the valuables disappear. If that isn't far-fetched, I don't know what <laughs> is. Can you hear something? Someone's coming. Quick, hide behind that bush. It's Omar. He's got all his swords with him. Looks like he might be the thief after all. Well, we better follow him. Good idea. He's stopping outside that house and looking up at the top window. What's he going to do? There's no ladder around, and the window's on the fourth floor. I think he brought those swords along for a reason. Look. <coughs> He's throwing them at the wall. <coughs> what for? They've stuck in the wall and made a kind of ladder all the way up to the top of the house. So he can climb up to the top. Looks like it. Handy when you forget your keys, eh? Something doesn't feel quite right about this. Let's wait and see what happens when he comes out. There he is, carrying a sack. And it sounds like it's full of stuff from the house. So it was Omar after all. Poor Shalima. She's going to be really upset. He's off. I wonder where he's going to take all that stuff. Only one way to find out. Follow him back? Right. to bury it right in the middle of the ring. Just think, all the time we're watching the circus acts, 
There must have been a whole load of stolen stuff buried under there. Oh, I think we should wait until the morning to tell Shalima. Don't you? Good idea. I could do with some sleep. Mm, me too. I think I've had enough drama for one night. There you are. I could hardly sleep all night wondering what had happened. You must tell me. I'm sorry, Shalima. It's not very good news. Well, as you know, I was expecting the worst. We really hoped you wouldn't be, Omar. But we both saw him climbing into a house. And coming out of a sack full of stolen property. Why? Why would he do such a thing? It's so unlike him. We'd better give him a chance to explain. He's still asleep in the tent. I'll go and wake him up. Father, father, wake up, wake up. Wake up. We have to ask you something. It's important. Who are these people? They're my friends, father. They have something to say to you. Well? We followed you last night when you left your tent in the middle of the night. I did no such thing. And we saw you walk into town and burgle a house. You lie. I went to bed early yesterday evening and was asleep the whole night. But father, you're still wearing your shoes and your hands are all covered in soil. Uh, uh, this, this isn't possible. If what you say is true, then show me where I have hidden the stolen goods. I swear by Allah that I don't remember anything about last night. Get dressed. Sarah and Jamie will show you where the things are hidden. You buried them. Did I? I don't remember anything. Yes. You put them in a hole you dug in a circus ring. Well, you better show me. Uh, just give me a moment to put my clothes on. I'll be with you in a second. And brooches, all sorts of things. A little golden lamp. Oh, what have I done? Oh, how could I possibly have committed such a dreadful crime? That's just what I was wondering. What's going on? What's all the noise about? Where did all this jewellery come from? Oh, no. Omar stole it last night and buried it here. This is a serious offence. It cannot go unpunished. We must take Omar to the town and report this to the authorities. Perhaps there is another way. We could dig up the whole circus ring to find as much of the stolen property as possible. What we find, we can return. And if anything is missing, my father and I can pay for it. I, I know you want to help your father, but this is too serious a matter for mere apologies. The townspeople who want to see someone punished. It's, it's, it's not just a matter of clicking our fingers to put things right. Father, where are you going? Homer, stop! You can't escape! No! Look how slowly he's moving. Come to think of it, he was walking really slowly last night as well. It was like following a snail. He must have been in a trance. Watch this. Stop, Omar! You mustn't leave the circus! I must go to the town. My master has given me instructions. I must carry out his instructions. Omar, who is your master? Jamal is my master. <gasps> he has told me what to bring. So that's what it was all about. Jamal hypnotised Omar and made him break into all those houses. No wonder he couldn't remember where he was last night. Poor father. Where is Jamal? Yes, where is he? He must have sneaked out. The coward. We'd better go and find him. I'll take father back to the tent and make sure he stays there. You two and Hakim had better search for Jamal. He mustn't be allowed to get away with this. Good idea. I will show you where Jamal sleeps. He might have hidden some of the stolen property there as well. We'd better check it out. Come on!
This is Jamal's tent. Oh, as disorganized as ever. No sign of Jamal, though. Do you notice something odd about this place? Odd? No, it's just very untidy. A bit like your room at home, Jamie. Be serious. Sorry. What's odd about it, then? Well, on the outside, the tent has five sides, but inside, there are only four. You're right. That huge mirror behind his bed. It must be hiding something. Only one way to find out. Hakeem, help us shift this bed out of the way. Uh, certainly. <clears throat> Watch out! The mirror's going to come crashing down! Oh. Oh. Come! There's Jamal, the coward, hiding from us in his own tent. So this is where he keeps all his stolen jewels as well. I can explain. You've got a lot of explaining to do. Get up. First, you'd better come and dehypnotize Omar. Yes, I, I will do anything you say. Come on. Of him. Now all the stolen goods have been given back to their rightful owners, we can return to normal. The audience was really good tonight, wasn't it? A full house, packed out. Thanks for letting us take part in the show. Yes, it was brilliant. I'd always fancy being part of a human pyramid. You did it very well. Nobody would have guessed it was your first time. And Jamie, I thought you were very brave, trusting my father to throw knives all around you. That... Oh, it was nothing. <laughs> One of those knives even sliced a bit of your hair off. Really? The audience was certainly impressed. How would you rate your performances? Well, I thought Sarah's was okay. Just okay? But my performance was definitely a cut above the rest. Oh, Jamie. Hush, everybody! I'd like to say a big thank you to our two detectives, Sarah and Jamie. Excellent idea. Let's drink a toast to our two friends. Somebody, pass me a glass of that nectar. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Many, many thanks. Here, to Sarah and Jamie. To Sarah, Sarah and Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> 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 The music in Caught in the Act is taken from Bartok's Dance Suite. In the first movement, after an introductory roll on the tenor drum, the bassoons begin a low, gloomy melody. The corps anglais tries to rush ahead of the orchestra, but doesn't quite manage it, finally joining its close relative, the oboe, in a duet. The movement ends with a gentle romantic tune played by the violins. There is a loud crash on the timpani, and the violins begin a fast galloping dance tune, which sounds like Wild West music. Bones, tuba and trumpet interrupt with noisy fanfares. 
sounding like circus band music. The third movement begins with a breezy melody for bassoon and clarinet. A new dance tune, played by the strings, sounds like village merrymaking. movement begins with quiet music for strings, harp and piano, alternating with a reedy tune for woodwind instruments. The lyrical tune from previous movements is played high up, very gently, by the violins, joined later by the bell-like sounds of the celesta. In the introduction to movement five, the clarinets and violas play a strange, growling tune. A lively dance begins, with trumpets playing a harsh, rasping melody. Brass sections form themselves into a band and play a piece of music of their own. These are just some of the highlights of Bartok's dance suite. You are bound to discover more every time you listen.